Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this very special edition of the Sports Day Notices. My name's Mr. McCary, I'm here in my sports kit, I've even got my hat on, and I'm going to be reporting live all of the events at Sports Day as they happen. Admittedly, it's not really live, but you know what I mean. Um, it's our first ever sports day. It's now currently about 8.20 in the morning and in 40 minutes time we're all off to TVAC. It's going to be a wonderful day. I hope you have a good one. Gentlemen, I'm here with Mrs Dawson. Mrs Dawson, what are the prospects of your form in uh, sports day this morning? Uh, pretty good actually, Mr McCary. We've been in full training. Um, they've done the special diet, uh, scientifically proven. I'm, I'm hopeful. Scientifically proven? Yeah, I'm So hopeful. nothing to do with their growth mindsets, Mrs Dawson? No. 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 Uh, and my understanding is this morning, Mrs. Dawson, that Nine MDA are going to lose. Is that right? Yes. I heard they were losers. Yeah, they are. Is that right, Nine? Yeah. Nine is one. Yeah. 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 Anything to add? I think we'll just wait and see. Thank you. Comes before yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at TVAC for our first ever sports day. The buses have dropped us all off. We're just about to depart. And there's Mr. Bicknell getting everything organised. Um, it's a very exciting morning and things are about to begin. We're about to start and yes, we're in a high state of excitement. That's a yet to start, but we already have our first injury of the day. Alex has a bloody knee. Uh, Alex, what did you do? You tripped, that does not bode well for future events. I'm here with Mrs Quayle waiting for events to begin. Mrs Quayle, why is it important to wear a really good hat at sports day? Uh, because otherwise you'll get sunstroke. Okay, so and, as it as you and, and it helps you run faster. You what's, oh yes, it definitely helps you run faster. Excellent, thank you Mrs Quayle. It's 5 to 10, I'm here with Tiago and we're heading over to the discus. Now Tiago, I heard a rumour and that rumour was that in her youth Mrs Dawson actually represented Wales at under 19 level in throwing the discus. Had you heard that rumour? Really? I did. You didn't hear that. Should we go and find out if it's true? Come on, there's Mrs Dawson. Mrs Dawson, Mrs Dawson, are the rumours true? Are the rumours true? I heard a rumour that you, in your youth, represented Wales at under-19 level in throwing the discus. Is that true? Actually, it was England. It was England, was it? Can we have a demo? No. <laughs> Too old now. In second, third. And then, and then you stop. It still keeps going, so you just stop it like that. Okay. And then when you recall it, you go. <laughs> We're here at the start of the Year 7 Girls. 800 meters. It's an incredibly tense atmosphere. The girls are ready to go. Mr. Hayes is armed and dangerous. Any minute now, Mrs. Quayle is going to start. Okay, the on the start Mr. Line, Mr. Hayes announcing is Mr. Hayes has got gun. his hand up. Here Put your go. hands in. First place there. of the Sports Day for Hollyport College 2015. Mark. 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 And the oh, gun yeah. didn't oh, work. Oh, yeah. What an anti-climax there from Mr. Sorry Hayes. What an anti-climax. Let's try again, shall we? Let's load the gun. Mr. Hayes is firing blanks. Here we go. And they're off in the Year 7 Girls 800 meters. Here with Bella, recently crowned under 12 champion in the Girls 800 meters. Bella, how does it feel to be the very first winner of the very first race in the very first Hollyport College Sports Day? Good. Profound words from Bella. Thank you. I'm here at the long jump with Mr. Hubbard where the Year 7 boys have been competing. They have Mr. Indeed, Hubbard. Yeah. And do we have a winner so far? Not quite. We're waiting for Tafari to finish running around in circles for him to come and have his jumps. But Some so people far, just got their priorities wrong. There is a tie between Josh and Jordy. How do you tie at the long jump? I question your maths. Both. Sir. I question the your maths. Same measurement. 3 meters 85. Corruption in the under 12 boys long jump. I'm here with Bella, recently crowned under 12 champion in the girls 800 meters. Bella, how does it feel to be the very first winner of the very first race in the very first Hollyport College Sports Day? Good. Profound words from Bella. Thank you, Ryan. 
warming up for the discus. He's thrown it. It's gone miles and miles and miles. I can't even see where it's gone. It's gone so far. Ryan, give us a wave. Under 14 boys, 800 meters, zooming past me. They can't possibly keep up this pace, can they? Absolutely flying around some of them. And here come the rest. Sean leading from Lucas and Wills and Henry coming past. Um, and there goes Chris. Keep it going, gentlemen. I'm here at the start of the under 12 girls shot put after the shocking story of corruption and cheating going on from Mr Hubbard in the under 12 boys long jump. I just want to check ladies, is this going to be a fair competition? Yes. No cheating? No. No dishonesty? No. Do we trust Mr Bell's maths? Um, no. <laughs> Mr Bell, who's your tip for the under 12 girls shot put? I don't know, it's a very open field, Mr. Kerr. And how's your actual pushing, Mr. Bell? Can we have a demonstration? <laughs> because I heard again, like Mrs. Dawson, who we discovered today, was actually an under-19 Welsh champion at Discus. I also heard a rumour that you represented Cornwall in the shot putting. Well, as you can see, I've got the build and physique of the shot putters. So, Go on, give us a demo, Mr. Bell. Pretty, it's pretty clear. Give us a demo. Hashtag teacher demo. Hashtag teacher demo. Come on, ladies, you want to see Mr. Bell throw a shot put? So Mr. Bell is going to give us an expert demonstration on how to throw the shot put. Here we go. He's taking off his hat. He means business. Limbering up. He's got... official moment registration for the under 14 girls javelin and as most of you will know javelin is an extremely dangerous sport so this is the official bit as the students sign up and they take their long pointy sticks ready to hurl them into oblivion have we skewered anybody so far today mr gale but i remain hopeful we remain hopeful and if we had to skewer one person who would that person be don't answer that question mr gale no! <laughs> <laughs> so the year under 14 girls are ready to make some kebabs. We'll stay here for the first throw. Look at that stance. That's not a bad practice throw. Under 14 girls javelin, under... Under 12 girls, 200 meters, coming into the home straight and they're absolutely flying past me here. Tariqa in the lead, followed by Lara. Push it, girls, keep it going. Go on, Libby. Sprint finish there. Awesome run, ladies. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Kieran, and Kieran is moaning. What's the matter, Kieran? I don't want to do 60. Oh, Kieran doesn't want to run 60 meters. Andrew, is there anything you'd like to say to Kieran to encourage him in his 60 meters run? Do it. Good advice, Andrew. <laughs> Kieran, stop moaning. All together now, Kieran. Stop moaning. Stop moaning. Stop Chelsea. And Chelsea is having a really happy day. Tell me about your happy day, Chelsea. What are the things that have made you happy today? Marta won her race. That's a very happy thing. What else makes you happy? Are you looking forward to your race? No. What are you running in? The 100 meters. And Chelsea's going to be a star in the 100 meters. Smile for this, Chelsea. Oh, it's a happy Chelsea. I think we've made Chelsea's day just a little bit better. I'm here wandering through the crowds. There's a tangible sense of excitement. It's like to see Miss Prieto trying to get away from us. But a word from Miss Prieto. She's running away but the beauty of a selfie stick is you can't run away that fast say hello miss great so say hello to the ladies are you having a wonderful day who's your hero of the day so far miss great so who's most impressed you tabani tabani and the boys 200 meters that's miss great and marta of course please don't forget marta this is the finish of the under 14 girls 300 meters and it's ellie Mack. Closely followed by Izzy. The perfect vantage point for the start of the boys 300 meters are under 14 level Mr. Hayes has fired a few blanks, but I believe they're about to get underway. Oh, and Mr. Hayes is shouting, go, rather than firing the gun. It's all gone wrong here. So this is the under 14 girls long jump. Adele there, flying through the air. 
with the grace of an eagle. And the girls 1500 meters is well underway. The under 12 1500 meters, they come around to complete their first lap. Why don't we head upstairs to the commentary box and see if we can find Mr. Bicknell? So that's the under 12 1500 meters completing their first lap. And we are heading to the commentary box. Let's see what's going on up here. Well, here is Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Smith, who are manning the score sheets. Say hello. Hello. Who's in the lead? Uh, in year seven at the moment, it's... Uh, too, close, too close to call. Too close to call. It's a tense competition. And here is Mr. Bicknell oh. with the best vantage point. Say hello, Mr. Bicknell. Hello. Welcome to the glass house. Who's impressed you so far, Mr. Bicknell? Oh, there's been some strong performances out there. I think uh, Ellie in year nine in the 300s are very strong. Henry with the javelin. Emily in year seven at the high jump. Thank you very much indeed. And more importantly, Mr. Bicknell, who has the best hat? Uh, you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. We're now witnessing my favorite moment of sports day so far, in all seriousness. So this is Gwyneth running the 1500 meters. She was the only person from 9F1 who would put herself forward. And look at the support she's getting from her friends. This is what Holly Portal is all about. Keep it going, Gwyneth. Really well done, all of you. We spend a lot of time talking about the importance of perseverance, okay. sticking at it, of teamwork. And what we're seeing right here as Chloe and Gwyneth finished 1500 meters is a perfect example of that. Amazing ladies, really well done. Great teamwork, great perseverance. Big it up for Gwyneth and Chloe. Mr. Hayes has got his gun up in the air. It's the under 12 girls, 60 meters. There they are. Lady star Emily flying through there. Followed by close to Gwyneth Israel Morgan. It's very strong to the wire. And Ella finishing up now. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special opportunity here. He's been avoiding us all day. He's been avoiding us all day. But here is Mr. Boyle ready to make anyone. his statement with his camera. Mr. Boyle, are you having a good day? I'm having a wonderful day. Excellent. And I think the pupils are having an excellent day as well. I think they are highlights so far, Mr. Boyle. Some of these sprints have been very, very competitive, very close finishes. It's been really good. Good. And more importantly, what do you think of Mrs. Quayle's hat? Mrs. Quayle's hat? Just over there, Mrs. Sir, Just over there. I'm glad it's on her head and not on mine. What's that? You'd like to wear Mrs. Quayle's no, hat? No, we'll no, We'll see no. what we can no. do, Mr. This, Boyle. This, this one is bad enough. Hashtag Mr. Boyle wears Mrs. Quayle's hat later in the day. Indeed, that would first. be great. Girls. Under 14, 100 metres. Will there be a bang? Oh, Mr. Hayes. That wasn't Mr. Hayes' fault, he said. So here we go. Will there be a bang? Will there be a bang? off there's an actual bang and they're running it's the under 14 boys 100 meters i'm faster than all of them i'll prove it and they're off look at them go oh he's gonna have it he's gonna have it oh so close it's north is destroyers winners of the under 14 girls side of war chelsea i want to see you dance So we have a slight issue Mr. Hayes has identified. He's worried that there may be some more corruption afoot with the staff versus students versus parents race, a very important race in the final stand. Is why are you not happy, Mr. Hayes? The staggering's wrong. I get the camera out. I... More... more intrigue at the Holly Park. We're here at the second changeover in the inaugural staff versus students versus parents race. The students are well ahead, Mr. Girls off. And the parents are bringing up the rear there. Absolutely prime spot for the closing stages of this relay. We really shouldn't be on the track here, the pace these guys are keeping up. Oh, the students, year seven, absolutely flying away with this. Oh, but Mr. Hayes storming up the back straight, handing over to Mr. Lamont. That's just not sporting, gentlemen. You're supposed to be the grown-ups. We are eagerly anticipating the results of Hollyport College's first ever sports day. Can I get a Mexican wave? That's not a Mexican wave. We're making history. This is our first ever sports day. And I think it's been an excellent event. Can we give, please, Mr. Bicknell and Miss Blackwell a big cheer for all the hard work? Yeah. What have I loved most about today? I've loved the spirit of participation. 
how many of you have just got yourselves involved in this. I love the spirit of competition or friendly rivalry. And I look forward to seeing pupils from Hollyport College go on from our sports day to win competitions tomorrow and in the years to come throughout the country as we make a name for ourselves as a school that means business with sport. So well in it. The winning total was 290 and the runner up is obviously on 274. And um, it's with great pleasure I would like to invite Tafari up because Mr. Big is due to group. <laughs> Mr. Bicknell's born the Bicknell Beavers. <laughs> Year 7 champion in the World Cup of Football Sports Day. Mr. Bicknell at last in the winners of the Year 9 competition. Starting with 4th place. Fourth position was Lonnie's two points. Consolation clap for now, well done guys. Third place coming now from Mr. Bicknell. Bronze place for Hubbard Talk. Third place, Mr. Hubbard. A quick comment. Third pretty, place. Pretty awesome. Pretty Could've awesome. Done better, Could have done better if tried harder. Okay, that's from Mr. Hubbard. Second place and second place. First place was 276 points. It's a close finish for the year so, nine. The runners up position today goes to Hayes' Hawks. Yeah! Yeah! Right. The horse was destroyed. With wins in both of the tug of war competitions, it's Mrs. Dawson's tutor group that take the honours. Here they come to collect their medals from Mr. Boyle. Destroyers collect their medals from Mr. Boyle. We will say farewell from TVAC. That marks the end of our first ever Hollyport College Sports Day. It's been lots of fun. Really looking forward to more of the same next year. Well done, everybody. I hope we've all enjoyed ourselves. Take it easy. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.